Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Panasonic RF505 AM FM portable radio. I purchased this radio for a total of $18 from eBay and arrived in the original box. Sweet! So let's get at it. So it came with this box, which is really cool, the original. Got FM AM portable radio. I always say AM FM sounds better. There's the picture of it, illustration. On this side here is a Panasonic color, and you can see the radio through there. Black, one set. Cool, R505. Other side, pretty much the same stuff, made in Singapore. Uh, the back here, operation of controls. If you want to look at that, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. Carrying strap, earphone. It didn't come with the earphone, unfortunately. That would have been cool if it had that. But this has some original paperwork, which is nice. Cool thing is it runs on two AA batteries, and they sit tandem like this, one on top of the, each other, and it adds a nice little base uh, weight so it stands up real nice. It's a good idea. It was very smart thinking there. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. I'm sure there's a radio in here. Oh, it says something in here. Product service. There you go. You can pause and read that. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Old school in it. All right, yeah. So it has... I think original paperwork here. Pull that out. And we got the radio. I'll get that out of here too. It's got the original cardboard, which is nice. It doesn't have the original bag, but that's okay. So that's the box. Empty, and you can see it has like an insert there. All right, so that aside, let's look at the paperwork here. So the paperwork is kind of ancient looking. Um, I kind of guessed mid 70s too, because some of the paperwork mentions something about 1972. I don't think it's on this one, but this shows you your Panasonic service deal where you take your radios. Let's see if there's a place in is there Illinois there. I don't see Illinois at all. Oh, there it is. Hey, cool. So Broadview, Illinois, and Des Plaines. And Moline. Cool. Three places in Illinois. All right. So there you go. Give you an idea. And then I guess on the back is Canada. Holy cow. Service in Canada. Authorized. Yeah, there's a lot of places in Canada to get your radio fixed. All right. So there's that piece of paper. The next one is, let's see, this looks like a warranty card. Panasonic Radio Limited Warranty. Okay, so where you send this to, I guess, and then to your warranty. That's kind of cool. Um, what had me thrown off the think it's somewhere here about 1972. And I was flipping it around. And I'm just trying to find out where I saw that. I saw some, some of this paperwork here. But uh, yeah, it said something about service and, and due to a certain law, 1972. But anyway, I wasn't sure of the era because of the of the form. I don't recall the forms having little squares in them back you know, then. Maybe they did. Because usually this is for computers to read. And so, but maybe this is how they did it back then too? For people to read? <laughs> My guess. If you guys remember, let me know. All right, so that's that. The paperwork done. Let's get that out of there. Here's the radio. Sweet. Look at this bad boy. Yeah. Looks awesome. Okay, let's go over dimensions. Three and one-eighths of an inch wide, five and a quarter inches tall, and this guy is a brick. <laughs> an inch and three quarters thick. Yeah, pretty cool. So for size comparison, I don't really have a ton of radios here. I'll just put it in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's <laughs> see, so Iron Man. Iron Man! <laughs> There's your deck of cards. And then we got some classics you can bring out. I got the uh, R, was this 1014 AM radio by Panasonic. A little bit more pocket friendly. Yeah, it's like a baby compared to this bad boy. And then we got the Magnavox 39. I take this one with me everywhere. It's always in the air, my side. Love this little guy. Alright, so cool. We got Got to see those with the radios. All right, let's go over features. Features of this radio. All right, on the left-hand side, we got an earphone jack. I don't test them usually, uh, but there you go. On the front, we have a cool round dial. I just dig that. It's so awesome. And we got this, like, raised plastic clear lens over the dial. It was a bit scratched up. I had to work out the scratches with some of the wax, but I got most of it out. So it comes out, looks pretty good. It has, like, black line going around it. So looking at the dial, you know, there's a little dust in there. I took the radio apart. To get to that plate was almost impossible, so I just kind of left it alone. 
Uh, FM is the top there. You can see how it points to the... I just think that's awesome. It's got that little narrow pointer. FM and then the AM, 530 to 1600. And yeah, it just, just looks really cool. I like that. So I think that's like a brown color there. I don't know if the orange pointer. So cool. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the FM band for when we do our thing. So okay, now the speaker is two inches. Panasonic. Sweet. I like this little black line treatment. And this is metal, by the way. This whole piece that goes around here. Metal bezel. I like that. Okay, on the right-hand side, we have that small, smallish tuning wheel. So there's definitely a string on that one. But it is smooth and easy to tune uh, even after all these years. Here's our volume on-off wheel. Nice. All right, on the right-hand side, that's about it. And then we got the antenna. This antenna is pretty cool. It's got like a little uh, divot here. You just pull that up, comes up, and it swivels to the, all the way to that side, which is nice. And this extends out to 19 inches. This is a cool classic. I'm loving it. All right, so the back of the radio, we have some information. Panasonic R505. Takes two AA batteries talked about. Made in Singapore. We have a band select switch and FM. Vented case. Now, when I got this for radio off of eBay, it didn't work. Uh, it didn't even like I turned it on, and nothing happened, and it was just this band switch. All I had to do was take the back off and put a little deoxic in there, work the switch back and forth, and then it came alive. So simple fixes to think of if you're buying these things. Um, here's the battery compartment. I'd open it up. It'll show the batteries in tandem there, two AA batteries. So there we go. And our wrist strap on the top. Yeah, carrying handle, whatever I call it, carrying strap. So yeah, I guess it's not too bad. It's not gigantic. It's about the size of the radio, not past the radio by a foot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and extend this antenna and hear what we can hear on the FM tonight. All right. I'm hitting stuff. It's a pretty nice long antenna. Okay, volume on. I'm going to set this down a sec and lower this a little bit. Okay. Picking up a lot of stations. Thank you. Protecting the ones you love. Today's best variety being that five for a Chevy more. Good, good tonal quality. Man, it just keeps rocking here. Old school rocking it. Nice. Maybe you did. 
Getting a lot, a lot of stations. This is fun. All right, cool. I did that Vim Band. That's actually really neat um, for a radio this old uh, for this price. Bang it into the thing. Uh, pretty cool. I'm enjoying that. Let's get a little clip on here. There we go for antenna. Nice. Okay, so let's go to the AM band. We'll go to the bottom so we can find real quick. So we can get some longer, uh, what do you call it? Uh, long distance stations. All right, AM. Nashville's right here. Why did they get you? Yeah, if you don't like pressure, local 670. WLW. Cincinnati, 300 miles. Seven twenty. Maybe not the best night overall. World destinations and exclusive deals on your next vacation. Join the who's who of the travel industry to learn where, why, and when to go. Have Chris, we'll travel on the Chris Robinson Travel Show Saturday and Sunday at eleven Oop. on Super Radio and online at go. Chris Zuma. Robinson Travel Show dot com. Time. You're listening to Stardust with Ziggy. On Zuma Radio, AM 7. Correct. To have guys with telescopic sights shooting. I alluded to something recently, recently that uh, created enough. Oh, WSB Atlanta. Be very from the party line. I had a, I had a just read. WJR 760. That all of the freedom to sleep like everyone. 780 WBM. It's 60 Toronto, CJBC. Louisville, 840. The thing is, it's all... Twelve runs. Two. You want to guess? And uh, uh, there was a... Very, very 
good, and it's Nessie. Himself, and it had arrived at some uh, conservative viewpoints. That tops out around 1620. So yeah, it does pretty well on the AM uh, for locals and semi-locals. Long distance, a little hard to get the selectivity on it. Um, the ferrite bar is really small on this radio. It's not as big as normal ones. It's, it's about that big. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I noticed about the AM. Didn't expect it to perform like awesomely, but it does, does well enough for me. Um, so let's go ahead and do final thoughts on the RF505. If you find this radio, I think it'd be a really cool addition to the collection for under 20 bucks. I mean, wow, at this for 18 with the original box, pretty awesome. I'm really impressed with the FM. Just remember, this radio sounds really good at low levels, mid-level maybe, a high, it's gonna, it's too high. It's real. It's like a tinny sound. It's definitely a high pitched, higher pitched sound. So it's good for like news talk, um, you know, your basic, uh, you know, maybe classic radio, maybe some classical music sound really good on here. Um, your heavy bass rock roll, probably not so awesome, but it is a cool piece of uh, history. I really like it. I think it's neat. I like just the the whole package. Is it's just one of those radios you can't buy anymore. You don't you, know, you don't see on the shelf. You know, just a beast of a radio, but still cool. It has that, that round dial. I just dig the round dials. I don't know what it is. It's these Panasonic, these round dials. I just love them. So if you like the video, big thumbs up. Comment below what you think about the Panasonic RF505. Would, would this be like something you'd want for your collection? Uh, do you think it's pretty cool? I mean, heck, it costs as much as a new P26 Sony, so why not give it a go, you know, and have something vintage and something cool. Cool factors, neat. Um, and then uh, subscribe if you're new, if you love these classic portable radios. I try to do a few here and there when I can, when I can find a good deal and pick one up, something unique and different. Um, and, so, you know, hit the little bell icon so you know you're notified when I want to make these new videos. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.